Meanwhile, here at home, it was a horrifying crime, a home invasion and triple murder in Cheshire, Connecticut. Today, the jury that convicted Stephen Hayes voted unanimously for the death penalty. Hayes was one of two men charged with murdering Jennifer Hawk Pettit and her daughters, 17-year-old Haley and 11-year-old Michaela. The attackers robbed and terrorized the family in July of 2007, then set the home on fire. The father, Dr. William Pettit, was also beaten and barely survived. Following the verdict, he spoke outside court. This is a, a verdict for justice. And I think the jury took its time, listened to the evidence, and made an appropriate and just decision. People really need to be responsible for their actions, especially when they're viciously violent and create wanton destruction. I didn't want to be here and listen to the things that were being said in the courtroom, there was a thousand times I wanted to jump up and scream out. I would say a little prayer, not necessarily to make things right, but for the strength to just keep going forward. Michaela was an 11 year old little girl, you know, uh, tortured and killed in her home bedroom, you know, surrounded by stuffed animals and Haley had a great future. It was a strong and courageous person. I don't think there's ever closure. I think whoever came up with that concept's an imbecile. Uh, whoever they are wrote it the first time. And I think many of you know it who've lost a parent or a child or a friend. There's never closure, there's a hole. You know, the way I've imagined it straight through, it's a hole with jagged edges and over time, the edges may smooth out a little bit, but the hole in your heart and the hole in your soul is still there. So there's, there's never closure. I was glad for the girls that there was justice because I think it's a, I think it's a just, just verdict, but mostly, mostly I was sad for the loss that we, we have all suffered. Jeff Glor has been covering the trial. He's in New Haven, Connecticut tonight. And Jeff, jurors deliberated for only four hours before coming back with a guilty verdict. So why did it take four days for them to decide on the death penalty? Do you know? Well, Katie, the short answer is it appears that for a time this jury was actually quite conflicted. On Saturday, in fact, it appeared that 10 of the 12 jurors were actually leaning toward a life sentence, but they worked through the weekend, apparently resolved their differences. But even as the verdict was read this morning, one of the jurors was crying inside court. Well, it's a big decision, obviously. And what happens next in this case, Jeff? Well, lawyers for Stephen Hayes say he's actually thrilled about this. They say he's happy to die, but an appeal here in Connecticut is automatic. As for his co-defendant, that trial likely won't end until late next year. One of the points that Dr. William Pettit was making today, he says this whole process takes far too long. Katie? All right. Jeff Glor in New Haven, Connecticut. Jeff, thank you.